Hello! Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. More regular edition. Not super thrilled about getting Thunder Thighs, but it is better than Charm of the Vampire, which is one of the worst items. In the game, one of the worst passives, at least. Um, Thunder Thighs is not bad. Um, speed downs are rough, though. Anyway, this is uh, Gary Butterfield of Podcast. And hopefully this is the first in the uh, more regular Binding of Isaac Rebirth runs. Um, sorry about the extended absence. Um, just a busy term. And a busy break. Busy everything. Oh yeah, I can walk through this shit. And damage on this first floor doesn't actually matter that much. So yeah. Um, what I'm doing essentially in the game, I've got um, all of my uh, my post-it notes filled out for, there's what I wanted. Um, I like that sound. Um, got all my post-it notes filled out for hard and regular mode for all the different goals for all the regular characters. I have unlocked the lost who is a goddamn son of a bitch. You know that that I ain't no goddamn son of a bitch song? Like the Misfits or Danzig or something like that? Um, they weren't... That song wasn't about the Lost. It'd be weird if it was, given that it was written, you know, when when Edmund McMillan was what, but a, but a twinkle. That is nearly enough shot money. That's very good. Um, tiny second of lag there. That happens, though, because I cannot be blessed with a recording setup that actually works, it seems. Um, I bet you this is the second secret room. Let's just find out. I feel like I see that room layout a lot, and that was not worth it, but... And I'm gonna have a reroll ready for the boss, in case he gives me, like, a range upgrade. Um, I'd gladly take a speed upgrade, though. Um, obviously, preference order would be probably, actually, at this point, damage speed. But anyway, so, um, I got the Lost. I did some Lost runs. The Lost, if you're going to have a realistic chance of doing it, and I might do some on camera at some point, but it's a, it's really a pain in the ass. And, like, the, uh, it seems like the strategy is just kind of restart until you can get Holy Mantle in the first item room or nine lives in a curse room, um, a spike door room. But the, uh, that doesn't happen very often. So you spend a lot of time kind of restarting. Or at least I did because I'm scumming it because I can't. I tried playing a couple times legitimately, and I can't really do it. And then even with that, like, I'm just not good enough Isaac. Just not good enough Isaac. I'm not a good enough player of Isaac. Um, I might take Jesus Juice. The uh, not good enough player of Isaac to to not just not take damage. Like, it is, the, uh, it is the case. I'm not proud of it. It sucks. I thought I would, you know, I thought I could do it, but I can't. So what I'm doing now is essentially... Uh, one, kind of just practicing, getting to know some rooms, playing, you know, Isaac is kind of easy mode, but I'm still going to try to do my best at dodging, see if there's spiders or scents. Ugh. That makes sense. The spiders and scents. I'll get those scents on the way out. Um, but also, I want to donate. I'm not going to go in there yet, because I want to go to my room, but I'm going to donate to the uh, donation machine, because I want to get 999 cents. So I can get the stopwatch, which is another item that really is supposed to help the lost quite a bit. I love the, I love skulls. Yes, I'm not going to use that yet because I might get a natural in the wild deal with the devil. And it would make the, this floor on the boss a lot easier. Anywho, um, I want the, the stopwatch because that would be just another item that's like this item kind of sorts the lost, and anything that sorts the lost is okay in my book because the lost is bullshit. Um, I've been considering uh, cheating, actually. <laughs> like, I'm not, again, not proud of it, but like, man, do I not feel like doing this room? It was very tempting to joke around with it. Um, considering cheating to, like, get those lost unlocks, because I want to just have all the items in the game. Not even so much just for, like, I don't care about achievements. Um, I just want to have them, like, more randomness in my my roles when I pick go into an item room. Like, I just want to have the greatest possible number of weird shit that can happen. Um, weird synergies and, and the like. Um, and the loss is just... It's demoralizing to a degree that, like... I thought 
couldn't be possible. Like, I got, um, I was playing it, and I got nine lives, which is one of those marquee items. I didn't really get any damage upgrades, though. And I was like, okay, well, this, you know, this is great. And I lost a couple, you know, I had a couple stupid deaths, but for the most part, I was doing fine. Got down to uh, six lives, which sounds worse than it is, but you automatically start at seven or eight lives because you have to leave the curse room that you get it in. So it wasn't doing bad. Then I got another copy of nine lives, which I didn't know could happen. So I had, you know, I had a lot of lives. Oh, I hate Abel. Um, we may not re-roll that, though, just because we might want to re-roll other stuff. The, uh, so I had two nine lives. So I had, like, 15 lives. Um, and I got to Mom, and I was like, okay, this is the one that's going to do it. I got to Mom, and I just couldn't beat her without taking damage because she was, like, it just did no damage. Like, some little stupid, like, one of these little walking guys would just be hanging around. I just back into him, and that's the end of the run. And that, that sucks. And that damage I took there sucks, too. I was looking at the uh, recorder to make sure it was recording, because since I've had so many recording problems my entire life. Uh, so, so that is how, that has been my Isaac journey. Um, this is also something I've been playing a lot more than I should, and playing it when I'm putting off other podcast homework. Um, I will be the first to admit I've been kind of depressed. Uh, last couple months, and the uh, this is a comfort game for me. Like, it is just mindless and dumb, but the fact that I'm going on to record it and share with you guys is a good sign for that. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I'm glad I made the decisions I made as far as rerolls. So, Ceremonial Robes is a no-brainer. This is three hearts and a uh, damage up. Um, and then we're going to reroll these other two. And I'm going to take Gimpy. Gimpy's not great, but... I've got lots of HP, and I am going to go back and take Abel, even though he is a garbage monster from Shit Villa, and the reason I'm going to do it is so he doesn't show up later. And I wish I could go into that shop and donate and or buy something, but I can't. We're going to continue. We're at 6 minutes and 49 seconds. Um, boss Rush is a cool thing to do if you can, because you get a choice of good items. You get a couple items for doing it, which is the, the reason to do it. But uh, I love Ceremonial. This is probably worth it. Even though I actually... Okay, that's good. I was going to joke her out. Um, so this is a uh, Pandora's box. Does different things depending on what for. Oh, this is totally worth it. Um, that you take it on. And it's better the longer you can wait for it. Um, I obviously don't want to give up the D6, though, so I'm just going to use it. And I think on this floor, it's either going to give me... Um, might be a lot of money. It might be... Um, one boss room item, or it might just be consumables. Like, it might be a couple bombs, a couple keys. Either way, though, it's free. The other alternative would be to re-roll it, because it is a devil room item. Um, Alright, it's just not a devil room item. Um, yeah, so I got an item, and it's a speed upgrade. That's great. That's totally what I wanted. I'm not being, that sounded sarcastic, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. And not worth it, but live and learn. I could have actually double roomed out of that, which would have been smart. But... I'm not a smart man. Um, these guys with their incredible shot speed. See, like, you can just see how, like, it's just easy to take some damage. Like, I'm not... I don't feel that bad about my play in general. It's just easy to take, like, a little bit of damage. Looks scary as hell. I would love a tears upgrade, too, because I like to kill these guys in one cycle. Up two if I can. Um, the stars, let's do it. We'll come back for that Joker card. Uh, mini mush, I'm gonna take because I know I get a deal with the devil, and that's why I'd rather reroll. And my speed was still not super. Um, the range is neither here nor there, but could be useful if I get um, I had a lot of items like Lump of Coal being the obvious one, and I very well could end up fighting Krampus. Um, so. And Abel is just sitting there sucking. Like, he's like the family circus of familiars. Like, there's nothing that he does to help you. I hate him so much. <laughs> yeah, I've never... Um, I can get that, and that is worth it. Oh, hey. I don't actually need to pay anything to get those. I forgot about my stompiness, because I am so fast. I'm so fast. I don't know where that accent came from. Um, yeah, Abel, I've never been able to use him effectively. Um, I thought about trying to use him like with the Lost. Like I got him in one thing. I'm like, okay... The Lost will hang out on one side of the room where there's no danger and just send Abel in to do stuff. But he just, like, his damage can never go up. It's always three and a half damage. 
per tick, which is nothing. Like, that's Isaac's starting damage. Is all he can ever do. And if you're watching him to position him to, uh, to fight more effectively, um, that battery is the most important part of this. So we're going to buy the Spirit Heart, and we're going to donate until it either breaks or we have five cents left. And it didn't blow up, which is great. Okay. So, um, nope. But we'll see if we get to deal with the devil naturally. If not, we'll teleport in. I'm not forgetting about that devil card. We're coming back for it. Um, we just want to have a full reroll for the shit. Okay. Pestilence. Um, one really amazing, not amazing, but like one change they made that I really agree with is you can now reroll set boss room items, which makes me think that like the inability to do that before was not a feature, it was a limitation of like, you know, like in the programming, set this boss always to give you this also interfered with the reroll and just had the horseman had one item pool. Um, now, if I choose to reroll this, I'll have another horseman item, but I like a cube of meat. It's fine. Um, we're going to see what we end up doing with the deal of the devil. But I do have that uh, battery, so like, I would take a lot of things. Ooh, and nothing, huh? Okay. So, that's no problem. You don't have to give me a deal with the devil. Take care of myself. I'll put a ring on it. And I could be smashing all of the rocks to look for uh, black markets, but my time is valuable and your time is valuable. Krampus, this is fine. If it's a lump of coal, I'll take it. If it's Krampus's head, I'll reroll it. I don't mind taking the cube of meat if need be. And then I can go, go, I'll still buy that uh, battery, go down to the next floor with a full charge, or maybe I will reroll the cube of meat. We'll see. Because I could use more HP. My HP is not wonderful. Mostly I need damage though, and I would love to... And that is a damage up. So we're definitely going to reroll cube of meat. Um, let's see what's over here. Um, I think I've set... Fuck. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage. Um, said it before in here, but I had no respect for uh, Lump of Coal, and I used to actually reroll it um, way back in the day. That's foolish. And what made me have respect for Lump of Coal was playing on a Community Remix on Spider Mod. And on Spider Mod, you could uh, turn on a feature that showed how much damage um, you were doing by the numbers, and I got to see, like, oh, like, Lump of Coal is making a significant difference. Like, this is not trivial the way that I thought it was. I don't want another speed upgrade. I'm going to go grab that, uh, that battery. And this is, this is not me respecting your time or mine, and it's also me not respecting Boss Rush. Um, but if I don't get Boss Rush, if I pull out a winning run, otherwise, that's okay. Because winning is still fun. Like, it doesn't... Uh, I'm not doing it for any purpose anymore. Um, sure. Not super psyched about that, but I'll take it. It's better than the speed upgrade. It's maybe not better than a cube of meat. Yeah, Catacombs 2. Boss Rush is going to be a tall order, actually, I think. Um, but it can still happen if we get, like, something really amazing. As far as an item goes, um, we can then hit up that boss rush. And then if we get a teleporting card or kill, um, we can kind of bum rush the boss and uh, not worry about, you know, getting trapped in there. Because we can then go to the boss, go to boss rush, still get out and go to our item room and shop and stuff. So there's still hope, it's just not very much hope. These guys are such a pain in the ass with the loss. There's a room that has those three spitters on it where you get hit when you first come in seemingly no matter what you do. Um, I don't think that's strictly true. I think that if you play better, you can get out of it. But I like wasted three lives on it once. It's the worst. And be careful with those mushrooms. Yeah, I forgot. When you have uh, Stompy, um, those mushrooms are like they can turn into. Okay, so I will have a reroll. I'm going to do this for a better deal with the devil chance. Um, and then we're, we'll have a reroll ready for this. And we're still going to go to our uh, carrying queen out. Care for this. 
that much. I would like her to charge more rather than dropping turds. And I would also like her to eat these bombs as opposed to not eating them, which is what she's been doing. Eat the fucking bomb, dude. I'm spending a lot of bombs here, but this is a hard boss, I think. And any boss that you can only hit from one side is kind of a pain in the ass. And uh, you guys are getting the full effect of my clicky clacky keyboard here. I was hoping she'd kind of stay trapped over there. Um, I might end up giving her one more bomb. I don't have to, she's, god damn it. She's gonna go into a diagonal state pretty soon. And there we go. And this is easier just because, well, that wasn't easier, but it's easier because she doesn't complicate the battlefield anymore. Now you suck. My shot speed could actually be better too, weirdly enough. Like it's not slowed, but better to handy for that. Okay, pageant boy, maybe. Guppy's hairball, no. Dark matter, yes. Dark matter is a uh, damage up, as well as the fear effect. Starring Joe Rogan. So yeah, I think I still think boss rush is probably pretty unlikely, but we can keep the hope alive. Um, so we've got not doing great on this run. Like we got two damage upgrades, or three if you count uh, lumber coal, which you should. Um, but then Jesus Juice, which is not a huge damage upgrade, and uh, Dark Matter, also not a huge damage upgrade, and lump of coal, which is a contextual damage upgrade. So like, not doing great. I probably should have now, in retrospect, in the interest of time taken uh, pageant boy because we do have enough keys i will be going to my shop um, at the very least i could donate it which is the long-term goal of this stuff but oh well i also have a little bit of money to donate here these guys are obviously a huge pain in the ass with lost because it's very easy for them to just like barely clip you um i'm gonna take an all stats up though i'm gonna take a tears up I'm gonna take a blue map. That was actually a really nice little turnaround there. Um, Capricorn is the, uh, the second. There's different uh, rankings of the different. Two of hearts, not that great. Um, different all stats up. No. Yay! No. Pretty good. That's not, I, I'm happy with that. Um, different rankings of the different all stats up. So like uh, the the best all stats up is the one up because it gives you a damage up and a damage multiplier. Um, and this ends up having us take pageant boy unless we can get that battery somehow. I don't want to blow up the donation machine. Give me a cent. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, we're gonna be fiscally responsible. There's a penny in this room. Where's it at? Is it hidden on a platform? Kinda, but we're gonna take it. Okay, perfect. So, further evidence that Boss Rush is down the drain, but that's okay. I think these are all sound choices I'm making. Even though Boss Rush, depending on what you get, can. I hate that I just, I'm like one room away from the charge. It's inefficient battery use. And there might have been a room up there. I could, I don't know what that room is to the left. I don't really go into that. But that also could have been a, uh, a boss rush. Oh, well, fuck. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, pageant boy, go fuck yourself. That's significantly better. Yeah, I was saying there's different uh, all stats upgrades. They rank in different ways. Um, SM, that's great. Look how fast my fire rate is. SMB super fan, I think is the worst. Um, if I recall, but Capricorn is either the second best or like tied for second best after uh, the Halo. So, just didn't want to fuck with that, so I was using it right away. I necessarily need to, but um, I want to keep this two of hearts in case. I was going to say in, thing, in case things get hairy, but honestly, like, it won't do me that much good since I'm mostly rolling on spirit hearts. But it might help. Hey, yep. Yep. All right, turn into Guppy. 
I am like one item away from turning into Guppy and that was really fast. So and with this, this rate of fire, like Guppy would be excellent. Um, we're going to see about you, Celticross. I don't love you. Uh, Key Beggar, I definitely don't love you, but I love your helping me get chances of deals with the devil by dying in a fiery wreck. Um, pill baggy, pills have not been great for us, honestly. Um, the battery is really the most important thing here. So, we're going to save our, our five bucks for that. Like, the existence of batteries in the game has almost single-handedly, like, balanced out the the reroll meta from changing the number of charges on the D6. Like, it has almost fixed it. Not fixed it, but, like, made it how it was before. Because now, I can, whenever I need to, I can kind of, like, scum up a bunch of, you know, essentially several rooms worth of charge at once. And by several rooms, I mean, like, of the old school. Like, if it was on still on a three-room charge. Like... Yes, on average, it takes so many more to charge, but every once in a while, I can just buy three rooms for almost nothing. Um, okay, so let's go. Now that we have that battery, we're going to re-roll Celtic Cross once, because I don't like it very much. And I like our vision much better. And then we're going to buy that battery, so we have... That's a little shortcut. That was a long cut. but Buy that battery so we can go into the deal, deal with the Devil Room, assuming we get it, and get a third guppy item, and turn to guppy, because turning into guppy is good fun time. And I can actually, well since I'm already too late for the boss rush room, I may as well explore, but we're going to go to the boss as soon as possible because we have a reroll ready. That's the right decision. Then go explore. And I really, like, Guppy would help me out a lot. Um, anything that gave me a bunch more damage would help. I would take, um, I would gladly take, like, Abaddon. Um, this Devil card is going to help me with some more damage. Yeah, the Abaddon, Pentagram. All great things. And I'm glad I have more damage because this is kind of a tanky boss. Oh, shit. Why didn't you, oh, you were afraid, so you didn't jump on me. Taking some shitty damage in during this fight, but that's okay. Too worried about it. And that's not a deal with the devil for some reason. That's just a bottle of pills. That sucks. Um Okay, well we'll see what we can make happen. There's still a good like guppy items appear in the wild from time to time. So the next floor. And the fact that we didn't get a deal with the devil there makes me think we will get one. Um and actually I should be breaking every skull I run into. Uh, makes me think I will get one during the next floor. Uh, Suicide King. I wanted to use this before. It's kind of neat if people don't know what it does. It kills you, which sucks. But it uh, it gives you an item. Or spawns like one or two items when it does it. And I've never used it before. Um, I really like to. And I have guppies. Uh, I have nine lives, so I could. Um, I would just give up all my spirit hearts and black hearts. I don't want to do that. But... Um, if it comes down to it, like, I'm going to die anyway. Like, I mean, we'll see how long I hold the, on to this. With nine lives, it's probably... I need to stop being so willy. I know like those things. With nine lives, it is probably, uh, more valuable than... Oops. Ugh, more valuable than two hearts. Okay. There's that. And if I was just going to use the Suicide King, I probably wouldn't have taken the uh, the hearts that I did. Fear Effect is actually really good against those guys. Um, black Marker? There's a Skull I missed. Okay, let's head on down to the next floor. I'm pretty much just looking for a Joker card here. There might be Tinted Rocks I missed as well. Judgment. That's pretty good. 
What do you want to give me? You give me nothing? I could have actually re-rolled that since there's a chance I'll use the Suicide King, but honestly, like, that's probably a bad play as much as it is fun to do so. And there's no way around it. You can't be, like, invincible and use it or anything, as far as I know. Kind of a bummer. All right. Not enemies I usually see in this room. Jesus' Shadow. Jesus' Shadow is pretty good. Mark is better. Um, Jesus' Shadow, if you don't know, um, when you die, you come back as Dark Judas. Which, actually, that would have been a pretty good synergy with the Suicide King. Now that I think about it. Because I could have used Suicide King. I would have died. I would come back as Dark Judas, so you come back with double damage. Um, and then also had an item. But I don't know what the item would have been. And I wouldn't have had the Mark, like I do now. And... I'm not too worried. Oh, there we go. This is what I wanted the whole time. Okay. And we'll be looking to re-roll that as well. So never mind. I'm glad I didn't do any of that Dark Judas stuff. Because with our rate of fire, we're going to be generating flies like no one has ever generated flies before. Um, ugh, I don't care. All right. And now at this point, it's just damage up will be gravy. That's all we want. So. Sorry, floor one boss. That rune could be very interesting. Runes tend to be pretty good. Uh. Daga's Purity. I'm just going to pop it for a Spirit Heart. That gets rid of a curse. Um, and then we're going to keep the World card with us. For Ooh! Technology 2 is so good with uh, Guppy. Because it is a damage down for the um, the laser shots that actually hit that. But they will generate flies like nobody's been in this. World's still probably more valuable. Credit card. Yes. Um, okay. Let's re-roll both these items. Don't want those. Uh, blank card is good with some stuff. We'll take sharp plug because it's passive. And that allows me to use... Okay. Okay. There we go. That turned out just cost us one black heart. I knew that would work out somehow in the end. Um, where's that strength card? Or world card, rather. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Didn't see that. Um, obviously, Dark Bomb would be an amazing pickup right now just because there's so many red hearts on the ground. But yeah, so it does less damage with a real strength in this uh, technology, too, is just fly generation. As you can see, there's just a steady stream of flies coming out of this cat corpse. That doesn't do too much for us. I can already see forever. Thank you. And as you can see, like, I'm still not doing incredible damage. Like, if I had gotten boss rush... I would have loved to have taken it and done something like... Um, I should go donate this stuff, but I'm not going to. We might run to another donation machine later. Um, could have done... Uh, get them flies. Boss rush. And gotten something like Poptosis or something that actually like makes this even more... Is room still... Oh, because that guy. Um, Alright, well, we'll go ahead and just use this world. I 
really see any reason to go up there. This is a fun room because these guys end up acting super unpredictable. This is another nightmare room for uh, the lost, clearly, because you can't actually predict what's going on. All I want for the lost is a room, uh, Curse of the Labyrinth room. I like a better trinket. I'll spend a little bit of time on this. Amazing luck. Um, but a, a room with Nod Leaf, because with Nod Leaf, you can just stand and not take damage. And then, um, like a familiar, like, little haunt that hurts things in a Curse of the Labyrinth, like just the first two item rooms, I don't have to do anything. I just go into every room, turn invincible, go make a sandwich, and then just eventually just eat so many sandwiches. And that's what I want. Okay, deal with the devil's not going to do us any good. We're going to go up to the cathedral because it's fun. And uh, let's just head on down. Any tinted rocks? No. So many spirit hearts I'm leaving behind. That's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. And let's mosey on. Um, I already have Guppy. I don't need to waste my time for a chance of Guppy. Um... I think this is probably the way to go because usually the uh, second secret room tends to be by the boss room. Um, that's not has not been like tested. Illusory wall has not been like on the case for that one, but it's been my experience. So, what can you rate things by other than your experience, really? There's gonna be a pin, I think. Oh, these guys. My rate of fire is so good that like even just my tears are coming out at a reasonable rate. Um, this was worth, even though this was, you know, I wasn't looking for red chest. What I was looking for was like the pact. Abaddon. Oh, that was dangerous. I need to not run to those things. Those can kill me, or hurt me at least. Still doing okay on keys, so I can keep opening these for now. Oops. Well, sometimes I panic. Like those guys have a fast, like, wind like very small wind up, and that will cause me to panic from time to time. Uh, what's this do with technology? Anything? No. I'm going to take it, though, because I don't like uh, missing page very much, and this is kind of goofy. Um, Master Unlocking is actually a thousand times better. It was a fun while it lasted. Hookworm, or uh, Spiral Worm, or whatever it is. Uh, Master of Unlocking, if you don't know, uh, makes it so Golden Chest don't cost you a key to unlock, which is going to be super useful since we have Guppy's Tail. I'll be able to demonstrate that in just a moment. Yay, bombs. If bombs were impossible to use against school, I would. Uh, Backs there. Okay, deal with the devil. That makes me happy. Um. Yes. Yes. So four of Babylon plus Dark Bomb, and I could take Razor Blade for free, but I don't wanna. And cancer? Uh, that's great. Okay. 
Um, hangman's useless. The uh, dark bomb. That's useful. Um, actually, no, that's not, that's terrible. God damn it. Okay, I need to not. <laughs> I need to not fill that with a with a heart container. That was stupid. Um, because I ruined Horror of Babylon and permanent polar invincibility. Um, so this, uh, our health is not as good, but I'm not too worried about it because everything else should be doing great. Alright, and just do not, uh, do not take a heart. Whatever you do. Spirit hearts are great. Dark Bum, you get all of the hearts, buddy. You need to stop, you're like my AA sponsor. You need to keep them away from me. Being super honest, like I probably won't be able to keep that up. It's very likely I will accidentally take some hearts. Um, but not the end of the world. I can't get any more deals with the devil, really, unless I get like a Joker card, but um, or find a black market or something exceptionally lucky like that. Ooh, hello. That's great. I'm, I'm having amazing luck. Don't don't uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not. It's because I accidentally took a health upgrade. Without even thinking about it, does not mean that I'm not doing really well. I'm just wrong. Goat head doesn't do anything for me actually right now, because there are no more deals with the devil. So that's where you. Ooh, monsters long. How does this work? Pretty cool, actually. All right, I love monsters along. Um, just because it's so weird, and it's charging very quickly and doing a lot of damage to mom. All right, dark bum. Why don't you have a snack? And then we're gonna go to the cathedral. And this is usually where I'll use my world card because uh, on the chest I'm gonna have a bunch of extra fun items to mess with. Um, but here I don't. Um, oh, he gave me a black heart. I was like, why did a heart just spawn on me? Um, so let's go ahead and use the world. Uh, I'll fight him, mini-boss. Uh, it is the mini-boss I least want to fight, but that's okay. And I don't want lard. Doing pretty good. Dark bomb. Thank you. That's the last golden chest I can afford to open. But I get a judgment, um, which we'll use, and it's a regular judgment. So we don't want that key judgment. Key judgments are amazing on the chest, especially if you have Master of Unlocking. Uh, Mom's bottle of pills. No. But we're going to blow this guy up for stuff. I would love to reroll Mom's bottle of pills. And that's Dark Bum giving spiders from time to time, which he does now. Mm, yep, I can afford this. Um, Fate doesn't do a lot for us either, except give us an eternal heart, which we don't want. So, Maggie's Faith, similar. The game was really trying to trick me into taking some HP. Um, so we'll reroll Fate, because it's closer. And Stem Cells is even worse. I probably should have rerolled the one that's in the secret room. But honestly, like at this point, like I'm going to win. I'm just, how ridiculous can I make it? Um, which is worthwhile, don't get me wrong. Um, but. I don't need to pretend like anything I'm doing is like really critical, because it's not. Um, and that's not to say like nothing matters, but in this case, like everything is fine. In fact, like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and just call it. I think the monster's lung is one of my favorite item, new items in the game. Um, again, just because it's so weird. There are a lot of like things that break it, 
Um, but if you if you don't have one of those things, I, I love that stream of uh, flies that comes after I do one of these. All right, so that's easy. Dark bomb. Do I need another spirit hurt? Top me off. Okay. So let's see what this what bounty Thanksgiving has for us. And I'm looking for weirdo shit. Uh, dead onion. Controls infamy. I'm gonna take infamy. Dead onion is going to make my tiers spectral and bigger, so increase their hitbox. And uh, so it's not gonna have actually that much effect, but it's worth taking. And I'm not gonna span. Like I'm not gonna clear the floor in order to get more enough rerolls. I'm just going to try to get this one, and if I get another reroll naturally, great. Um, ah, damage up. And we'll take Sister Maggie. We'll probably get some chests on the, uh, on the chest. So. There's a big cloud of death that I'm spitting out like every single time. That's immensely satisfying. Eurofon, that'll be good for a rainy day. Which shall never come. If uh, the opportunity presented itself, I would fight Mega Satan. If uh, like Dad's key drops, just to show people who maybe haven't seen the fight, want to see it, and because I'm powerful enough to do it, I think. Uh, Mega Satan is no, no joke, so that's saying something that I'm. This run has gone that well. And mostly luck, like part of it was me playing well. Most of the luck, though. It's not going to be Anne Randy about finding Isaac. Could give us a tarot card that spawns an item or something, which would be fun. Or just an item. I'll reroll it. Uh, so yeah, mushrooms gonna increase our fire rate quite a bit, and our damage will go down a little bit. But let's go ahead and take it because our fire rate is already crazy with a uh, cancer and with monster as long as just the charge rate, and now it charges almost instantaneously, which is pretty fun. Plycephalus is such a pain in the ass as the lost. Because he, like, telefrags you. Um, sure. Assuming that the, uh, the, any of these fights last long enough for this to fire. We're good. Alright. And... I either managed to avoid taking a heart, or just... So yeah, so this is, we're doing crazy damage. I got hit, it doesn't matter. And we're actually doing less damage with, uh, with Unicorn Horn than we were if we just left our own devices. Oh, shit. And that's that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, again, hopefully regularly scheduled. And let me know what you think, or if you have suggestions or challenge run ideas or anything like that that are not, you know, that are meet my my level of skill. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.